Hey everyone, welcome to a new park showcase video. Now in this uh, park showcase video I want to show you a park that has uh, heavily inspired me and uh, many others on my Discord. This is uh, the park Raspberry Acres, made by Terry Inferno. Now as I said, um, this park has inspired me a lot. It uses many cool tricks uh, and of course it uh, doesn't use any custom scenery. So yeah, it's actually a place where uh, I learned lots of uh, my tricks and also inspired me to do several parts in my uh, mega park. Uh, but yeah, we'll get there as we go through the park. Now, I'll try to cover as much of the park as I can in a reasonably short time. But if you want to view this park by yourself, um, you can download it from my Discord server. It's uh, in the Park Showcase channel. It's somewhere on, uh, yeah, somewhere in the in the older posts. And you can probably also download it from some other uh, websites. Uh, if you just Google Raspberry Acres uh, RST2, you will probably find it. Anyway, um, yeah, some cool part things about this uh, park. Um, well, it it uses pretty much uh, most of the allowed uh, staff slots. And only just today I actually learned that uh, that I'm also in the park. <laughs> I didn't actually know that. Uh, apparently, I'm walking around somewhere as a mechanic. So yeah, that was uh, that was nice to uh, to find out. I uh, I only just found out. <laughs> um, something else that's uh, really cool about the rides. Uh, it actually also uses most of the ride slots. Uh, most of these rides are simply used as track texture. So yeah, there's tons and tons of track texture in this map, uh, and I believe uh, most of them also use several colors. So uh, yeah, he. Uh, Terry really uh, used uh, many of these rides. So, um, I think we should just start at the entrance and then uh, go around the park. I think I'll go, uh, yeah, let's go uh, clockwise. Okay, here we have the park entrance. Now, uh, it's not really a grand entrance, but uh, it does show some uh, basic stuff. So here, there would be probably be the ticket counter. So it's right next to the uh, to the entrance. Um, I'm assuming this then would be a park surface uh, or something, or maybe uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, this might be an employee entrance or uh, there's some benches. Um, to be fair, I'm not really sure, but this path does lead to this coaster here. There are some fences in front. Um, maybe it's a little uh, place where guests can eat or maybe this is the place where uh, there's a waiting room for a trolley for the parking lot something like that probably either way i do think this looks uh, really nice here um so from the from the entrance well here's the park entrance gates i do like how there's a little bit of an arch here that's probably the river rapids track yes it is indeed so if you didn't know, you can use River Rapids track uh, with uh, to make some nice uh, subtle uh, arches above your pathways. So uh, here's the entrance. Uh, this looks like a, like a ramp here, which you actually used the mini golf track for. It's a nice uh, little fountain here, right in front of the entrance. Uh, here's some uh, trees, nicely framed and uh, nicely put here in the middle of the path. These uh, buildings, they all use great uh, layering. So all these buildings uh, look very different. Um, some of them probably, uh, some of these buildings uh, probably can also be found in some of the contest entries uh, that people made for my contest, or uh, at least buildings that were inspired by it. For example, this uh, this diner, uh, well, it's called Drive-In here. The, I think I saw someone uh, make something that looked a lot like this uh, in this park. This, uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a beautiful uh, building. Also has some nice decorations here in the roof, and uh, and of course this building looks very curvy using these uh, monorail track pieces. So, um, yeah, in this area of the park, well, first we have these. Uh, this this is probably a food stall. This looks like a burger here. Um, I believe this is a nitro sign behind it. That's uh, that's some nice uh, layering here. Um, here we have some other stuff. Looks like a little window made with these, uh, what are they called? These uh, playing card uh, walls. 
Um, and here we have a little water park. Now, if you've seen my uh, mega park episodes, then uh, yeah, you'll probably see some uh, similarities between this water park and the water park in my uh, in my mega park. I was actually heavily inspired by this water park from uh, Raspberry Acres uh, to in order to make my uh, mega park. Yeah, I think this is a beautiful water park. I love how he did all the trees and the flowers here. And there's lots of uh, nice uh, water slides here as well. Although nobody seems to be riding this. Uh, not really sure why. Uh, here we have uh, an another pair of slides here. Uh, long queues. Uh, the guests are probably waiting for ages uh, to get in here. Yeah, queue time of 24 minutes. That's uh, quite long. Maybe it could have used another uh, ride vehicle here. Uh, in the middle here we have this play castle. I also made a play castle in my mega park, but uh, I don't think it uh, was as nice as this castle that uh, this play castle that uh, Terry made here. Uh, here's some more slides, uh, some really cool bridges. I like how we used the wooden coaster track with the car ride track on top to make these uh, bridges. Several pools here. And he also made a made a wave pool here using these uh, uh, what are they called these flying saucer uh, vehicles here. So yeah, I also made a wave pool in my park, and that again was heavily inspired by uh, this wave pool you uh, see here. And here's some more water slides. I also like how he made some uh, yeah some road some surface uh, paths or roads uh, on the outside of his park. That's always a nice uh, detail to have in your park. Now, um, we also have this launched coaster here. This one uh, looks a lot like uh, the existing coaster, Accelerator. Now, I actually went to Knott's Berry Farm this year. I w went on a trip to, uh, to the US. Uh, sadly, when I was at the park, Accelerator was closed. Um, these accelerator coasters are not really known for their uh, reliability. But still, these uh, supports, I think they're done really nicely. I do see some red supports mixed in here. That's probably a little mistake. Uh, but yeah, the coaster layout, I think it looks uh, really nice. Uh, when you make a Giga Coaster track, I typically like to use the, the limb launched coaster track. Because I think it, uh, yeah, it blends a bit better with the Giga Coaster track. The B and M track, uh, it looks a bit wider, and uh, yeah, when when you uh, go from a Giga Coaster track to B and M Coaster track, it always looks a little bit awkward. But still, the the layout is nice. It is uh, it is quite uh, recognizable as uh, a coaster inspired by Accelerator, at least. Also, the station building for this uh, coaster, it's also really nice. Really nice mixer, mixture of uh, roofs here. The queue can also be found inside here. That's also done in a really nice way. That's also a trick uh, Terry likes to use. Um, is to use these uh, these uh, launched freefall uh, platform pieces to, uh, to actually make the queue. It's a trick I learned from him and I also covered it in a tutorial. He also likes to use a uh, flying saucer track here for the station platform. It also looks uh, really good here, with a really cool roof uh, above it as well. So if you ever need to make some nice uh, station buildings or other buildings in your park, uh, this park, uh, Raspberry Acres, is uh, probably a really good source of inspiration. So here's uh, another uh, little ride, Red Bronze Revenge. Uh, this one is not actually functioning, but it does look uh, pretty cool. Here's a little uh, shoestring ride. Uh, well, I said it's choosing right, but it's just uh, these trucks are <laughs> going around forever, and not uh, actually guest riding it. Would have been probably not. Would have probably been nice to see it actually uh, be a uh, shoe strung. There's uh, another of these rides, but this one uses uh, helicopters. Chop chop chopper. <laughs> nice. Uh, another ride that I really like is this uh, ride that he made here. It's called uh, Climbing Wall. It's actually four of them, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, probably. Not really sure how we did this. Um, rotating lift mode. Ah, so it's probably uh, an observation tower. 
uh, but one which uses the bicycles for it. They actually go up a bit. Um, and here at the top they suddenly leave. <laughs> well, I'm not really uh, sure how this ride was uh, was made, but uh, it's probably something uh, you can figure out when you uh, open it and mess a, mess a bit with the ride type. So you'll pr you can probably figure it out. Now here's a little uh, junior coaster. Not nothing really uh, special about it. Just a nice and simple look. And uh, the station is also pretty nice. I like how we used the go or the Virginia rail track on uh, on top here, on top of the wooden coaster track. That makes it for a nice station. Something you'll also see in the lot a lot in this park, by the way, is these areas of grass. But they're all uh, mowed grass. So it actually looks uh, kind of nice. When you have areas with grass in your park, mowed grass is uh, always better than... Uh, it, it just looks more uh, tidy. Now here we can see another... Uh, sh this one is actually a shoestring ride called Hat Dance. That's uh, pretty cool. It's always funny to use the... To see the Virginia real cars uh, used like this. So um, here we have a big... Uh, well, yeah, a big uh, stage here. This is probably where uh, concerts uh, take place. Here we have another uh, food building called Nitro Cantina. Uh, the food uh, buildings in this park there are really nice. Uh, so Terry actually made several uh, areas in the park where guests can uh, can buy their food. Here's a big Coca-Cola stand or Coca-Cola building. But yeah, lots of nice uh, food buildings uh, in the park. Uh, here in the corner we have this uh, inverted coaster. So a nice uh, layout, it just goes down here. There's a loop, a cobra roll. Here it uh, does a big turnaround. Here's uh, another inversion. Then here at the end there's this uh, bat wing. And then after that, it uh, returned back to the station. A really cool looking uh, transfer track here. I like how he doubled up his track here with a uh, monorail track. And the station for the coaster also looks uh, really nice. I like how he did the windows. Not really sure if this uh, this uh, queue path here was supposed to be uh, visible. Uh, it kind of looks off compared to the rest of the, of the queue here. Um, here we have uh, a really nice splash boat ride. Actually used the uh, diagonal coaster track here to uh, make the lift hill of the splash boats. I like how it uh, goes up here and then uh, crosses under itself and then there's the big splash here. That's pretty neat. Um, here we have a swinging ship. Nothing special really about it. Uh, there, by the way, there's also a train going uh, all around the park. It's nice to see it uh, go around through these areas and also pass under this coast here, for example. Also passes through some buildings. Uh, I'm not really sure where the stations are. But yeah, it's nice to see this uh, train uh, travel uh, around here. And something I also really like about the train here is that there's actually this, uh, this depot here. He also made these uh, targets here at the end to serve as the really as the end stops for the train, if it happens to uh, to uh, go on uh, too far. Here we also have a log flume. So, yeah, here it goes uh, up. And, uh, well, here's the station. I really like how we did the rocks here. This uh, rock work looks uh, really nice. It's a mixture of the Egyptian uh, ruins pieces and lots of gumdrops and also uh, some uh, base blocks as well mixed with this uh, monorail track to make it look a bit curvy in places and there's even some of these uh, goliath uh, characters here used to uh, make some uh, other rocks as well you don't uh, often see people uh, use those but uh, they can uh, work really nicely if you mix them uh, in between the uh, the other rocks it helps to make some uh, diversity between the rocks I've even seen some people use uh, burger bars uh, mixed in with other rocks just to make it look uh, yeah, like there are some big round rocks uh, dispersed in between. And creativity some people have in this game is uh, amazing. 
No, I, I really like this last drop here. Uh, it's really cool to see it pop out of this tunnel here. Although the splash area might be a little bit on the short side. Oh yeah, it, uh, it does slow down quite a bit here. Anyway, that was the that was the log flume. Uh, there's also one of these uh, shuttle loops here. So here it gets launched from the station. Then there's a big loop here. Then the, and then a big spike, which uh, goes a bit over this uh, this uh, food and drink building. Oh wait, this is a souvenir uh, shop, like a souvenir gulch. Apparently, it also has some uh, toilets here in the back. And here at the back, there's the the other spike of the coaster, and you can also see some of the brakes here. Not really sure if they're also functional. Uh, I didn't watch the coaster for uh, long enough to <laughs> actually see it. Now uh, again, this uh, coaster has a beautiful station. This uh, building uh, looks like looks like it's made of uh, wood. I kind of like this uh, color and mix as well with the white here. And actually passes through another building here. This uh, nice uh, barn style uh, building. And um, not really sure if there's anything inside the building. Uh, ah, it's uh, it's another toilet here, but it's invisible. But you can still see the guests all a bunch up here, so then you know there's a toilet. Another really cool uh, building here. Another building made of wood. Um, here we can see a bit of a mountain. This uh, is called the Cave of Knowledge. And what I also like is that he used some of these volcano uh, pieces here to uh, make part of this, uh, yeah, of this uh, mountain here, part of the cave of knowledge. Ah, there's actually a maze uh, inside. That's uh, that's really neat. Now here in the corner we have a corkscrew coaster. Again, beautiful station. So quite a simple layout. So here it uh, goes up the lift hill. Then there's uh, two loops. I like how he did the loops in a different color. They uh, they really pop out like that. And here it goes through a double helix. And then there's a little brake section. And after the brake section it passes through this uh, double through this double corkscrew before it returns back to the station. Uh, here's also a nice way to do your transfer tracks. I think it's a nice combination of uh, of rails here that he used for it. Okay, then um, over here we have uh, some river rapids. I think uh, Terry Inferno is really good at making uh, river rapids. I actually learned how to do mine uh, after watching uh, some of his. Now it actually does look like these uh, boats are passing through one another. Um, yeah, not really sure why that is. Um, he probably uh, the boats also are also passing through one another here. So what he probably did was that he uh, turned the ride into a 3D cinema, and then he opened the ride. When you do that, all the boats actually uh, face through each other because they have no collision. So what's better to do is to either uh, change the light ride into a lift and then open it. Or some other invisible type. I will always uh, prefer to use the lift ride type for my invisible rides, because then the the rides uh, they will always get uh, some nice stats, and even if they don't, the guests will still always ride them. Because if you change it into a lift, the rides will become a transport ride, and for transport rides, uh, guests uh, don't care about the intensity as long as they are uh, free. Just like Discord, by the way. Okay, here we have a uh, wild mouse coaster. Uh, it's actually a spinning wild mouse. I kind of like the, the layout of this. It uses some curved drops uh, and elements that you normally cannot do with these, uh, with the, yeah, when you build a normal uh, wild mouse. But of course, an open roller coaster tycoon too, there's nothing stopping you from just uh, changing the track type. Now, it doesn't actually have uh, sprites for these uh, banked hills. But, uh, yeah, when you follow it, I think it goes fast enough that it isn't really uh, noticeable that it uh, does some weird maneuvers. So yeah, just a nice uh, layout here on this uh, on this uh, edge of the land, or, uh, yeah, on the edge of the water. 
here's also a cool bridge for the pedestrians but also for the uh, train to pass over something I also like is that for the train he actually put this rocky floor uh, under the train uh, in most places so it actually looks like uh, like the gravel that the rails are uh, resting on so oh, um, here we also have a nice building this is a uh, looks like a cinema the TW Smith theater we again used the flying saucers uh, floor here looks like there's probably some glass in front to make give it this color oh yeah I could just see a guest walk inside and change color so there's definitely glass in front but it does give a nice effect here also really like this awning and of course this uh, structure that we made to uh, sort of make a make a tower when you uh, make a building uh, it's usually nice not to have a flat roof but uh, yeah as you can see most of these buildings they also have different elevations on different parts of the building it uh, just helps uh, give it a more give them a more uh, interesting shape now I'm um, here's another little building uh, then here there's uh, peer games so there's lots of arcade games here now, actually uh, some people in my contests I also sometimes see them make these arcade games and uh, you can often find uh, these kind of rides back I think Swag Titties was one of the first people to uh, use one of these rides in his, uh, one of his contest parks and I actually also like to uh, use these to uh, fill up some space uh, wherever possible so there's a ski ball right here here's a shoot the ducks and I guess this is an uh, archery game of sorts or a shooting game and uh, Terry also put some of these uh, dodgements inside the, this building here but yeah this uh, is definitely a really nice building I love the, how it looks here from the, from the front um, there's also some uh, go-karts here it's an uh, interesting track here it's uh, bordered on the sides with this suspended uh, monorail track I think it gives a nice border I'm uh, not really sure about the layout of this little uh, go-kart but uh, at least these curves uh, and these uh, slopes they do make it look uh, look really interesting also like this uh, V-shaped uh, roof that's not something you see uh, very often I think it uh, really works for this uh, go-kart now here's another little uh, ride called Space Cadet it doesn't look like it's actually shoestrung no, it's uh, simply a ride that just uh, continues on infinitely without guests uh, being able to ride it. Now, here's a big uh, wooden coaster. It's actually sort of in a L shape, um, and it uh, nicely borders uh, borders the park here. It's nice to see all these coaster, uh, co I mean, all these uh, buildings uh, right here um, in the inside curve of this uh, coaster. So it uh, travels around it uh, quite nicely. Yeah, just uh, this looks like a simple standard uh, wooden coaster layout with an interesting turnaround here at the end. Uh, I really love this uh, spiral. So when you have to uh, make a helix somewhere, it's uh, usually nicer to make it make it an inclined helix that usually looks uh, much better than a standard uh, helix. So it's a nice uh, custom supports as well. Just some of these standard supports uh, are uh, just mounted against the coaster, but there's also some of these wooden post fences here on top. And uh, yeah, that just adds a little bit of uh, detail to it. Some nice uh, structure. More uh, nice buildings here next to the coaster. Station also looks really good. Uses more of these uh, launched uh, free fall uh, platform pieces. And again, more uh, wooden coaster track and uh, even some ghost train track here on top. Here's another uh, nice building. It, uh, again, it uses one of these uh, sort of uh, towers here at, uh, at the front entrance. Again, a nice awning in front. Buildings uh, look so much nicer if you give them a nice awning. And uh, Terry really likes to give these uh, buildings uh, curvy uh, awnings. And that looks, uh, that looks great. All right, I think I covered uh, most of the park in this uh, in this video. There's probably some areas that I missed or that I forgot. 
Uh, like I said, you can simply download this park for yourself from the Park Showcase uh, channel on my Discord, but you can also find it posted on several other RST2 uh, communities. All right, I hope you enjo all enjoyed uh, watching this park. Uh, I hope uh, Terry will keep making uh, parks like this. This uh, park is uh, really something. And uh, yeah, like I said, it inspired lots of people to build really cool stuff in their entries. So yeah, um, I hope Terry keeps making parks like this. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.